grim greetings to all on the other side of the screen. I am the Overly Positive Fanboy, and this is the Overly Positive Reviews 2022 Halloween Special! But what grim, gruesome, gory spectacle could possibly satisfy this macabre occasion? I don't know. What's your favourite idea, viewers? Three puppets live in a house where talking objects deliver a lesson through song. However, the lessons are questionable, the teachers turn out to be sadistic, and things soon take a horrific turn. Honestly, that may not sound like the most detailed synopsis ever, but it basically covers everything. This is a puppet show, with the odd bit of other mediums popping in every now and then. Every video revolves around a song. At the end, things turn into a horror show. There really isn't anything else plot-wise to say about Don't Hope Me I'm Scared beyond that. Or so it seems. Underneath that simplistic premise lies a ton of hidden detail that is ripe for fan theories. Seriously, there is a ton of attention to detail present here. Of course, that simplicity is part of what makes this series work so well. It does such a good job of capturing the feel of a kid's show that the horrific turn genuinely leaves an impression. Part of the kids show simplicity is evident in the character writing. Each of our trio has one trait between them that clearly establishes them to the audience, even if we don't know their real names. Red guy is stoic, monotone and emotionless. Yeah, wow, 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 because of the computer. Yellow guy is childishly innocent and not that bright. Wow, I'm like to be as smart as a computer. Duck is... Uh... To be honest, I've never gotten the clearest handle on Duck's personality. I just know that he enjoys eating chicken picnics and has a penchant for digital style. Digital style! Digital style! Digital style! Digital style! Digital style! Digital style. Ah! Then again, Duck still leaves a strong impression regardless of my personal blind spot. As for the other characters... Well... These guys sure are something. Each of the teachers are memorable in their own way. Though they all serve the same plot function, they each feel like separate characters. Their sadism varies to the point where some are clearly monstrous, while others are affable enough that fans can interpret them as not all that evil. Of course, a key part of their memorability is their musical ability. All of them are great singers. Dreams are a movie that live in your head up. Every night when you sleep in your bed <laughs> And you can have a dream about Most of them are great singers. The songs are great too. The lyrics are simplistic and toned down as if for young children, but the messages within the songs themselves are skewed just enough to make the audience uneasy. The songs are also insanely catchy. Like, seriously, one listen will get them stuck in your head forever. I honestly can't even pick a favourite among them. All of them are just that good. Honestly, I can't even think of anything I would criticise here. I mean, sure, the first video looks basic compared to the others, but that's only natural for a puppet-based web series that's self-funded. It's possible that the formula could have gotten stale, but the creators knew that and made sure to shake things up in the more continuity-driven second half. I mentioned before that the show's attention to detail lent itself to fan theories, and that is seriously an understatement. The overall plot is very vague, even with the conclusion offering up answers, there's still a lot of stuff we don't know to this day. Why is the calendar stuck on June 19th? How did the trio get in this situation to start with? What does that ending even mean? We may never know for sure, but at least one thing remains clear. That green is not a creative colour. In short, Don't Hug Me I'm Scared is a masterpiece, and for good reason. It's finely crafted, superbly written, and just a great time overall. I cannot recommend it enough. 
Well, that was Don't Hug Me I'm Scared, and this was Overly Positive Reviews. Join in next time as we return to the Marvel Universe for something savage and sensational. Now hang on a mo. Who said that? You're not done yet. Eee! <laughs>